Whoa, that camera is really hot. How? I hope that's normal. I mean, it's really hot in here already, but. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Len. How are you all doing? Welcome back. This is episode 2 of About the Anime List. So if you haven't seen part 1, be sure to pause this and go check it out. It will make more sense, I think. I, maybe you can watch it in different orders, but I explained better in the first one what this is about. But yeah, basically, I made a list with anime reviews based on first impression, and this is my second impression on the second part of those animes on that list. Yeah, I, I definitely explained better on the first part, but yeah, this is what it's about. And let's just start where we left off last time. Okay, got my computer here with my article on FAD, and the next one is Chio-chan no Tsugakuro. Did I say that right? Tsugakuro, Chio School Road. Chio enjoys video games so much that it bleeds into her day-to-day -day life making for some exciting adventures and turning her ordinary morning walk to school into thrilling and humorous situations with not one day the same and each morning raising the question how will Chio-chan get to school today? I was so surprised at how much I'm enjoying uh, Chio-chan, let's just call it Chio-chan I was really surprised because from the description I was like okay a girl going to school has adventures ooh thrilling but no it's so hilarious and funny from the first episode up till now it's still just as funny it's not repetitive amazingly enough everything's new but I think what makes the entire anime is Chio-chan's reactions and her temperament and her character and the way she is she's like just the best character ever I love her so much and it's just it's just hilarious it's a hilarious watch and even though it's one or two small stories within an episode like I said it never gets repetitive it's it's never what you think it's going to be it's for me at least it's definitely new I haven't seen anything quite like this before I like it Definitely recommend it. It's funny. Did I mention it's funny? Yeah, it's funny. Go watch it. It's really good. I like it. Island. Video game visual novel adaptation Island is set on Urashima, an island cut off from the mainland where people have come to live among themselves, walled behind their legends. One day, a young man is found washed up on the shore with no recollection of who he is, except for the knowledge of a mission he must fulfill to save someone on the mysterious decaying Island. I didn't know how I felt after watching the first episode of Island. To be honest, I still don't know how I feel about it. My initial reaction was that yes, it feels rushed. It doesn't feel new. It doesn't feel fresh. I can't really get into the characters. I can't really get into the stories. Same, three episodes later, definitely same. It feels rushed. I feel like the series is rushing to take us to where it wants us to be. Like it wants to, it's leading to an event, but it's like speeding through to get there. I haven't played the game, so I don't know if that's true. That's my hypothesis and that's what it feels like to me. I just can't get into it. Also, it really reminds me of another anime that I watched when I was a teenager called Air, which is also a guy that comes not onto an island, but I think it's like a sea town or something. And there's also this deep connection with a bunch of girls with who he's had like a past life with, so there's like a mysterious bond. It doesn't feel new. I don't really like the characters. Actually, none of them I like, which is disappointing. So I'm a little sad for Island. Um, I don't have, I think I've watched the two first episodes, but I haven't seen the third, or maybe I've seen the three first, but not the fourth. I know there's like a new episode that just came out and I still haven't watched it. I didn't feel the urge to like leap on it and be like, I want to watch this now. I'm not into it so far, so sorry for Island. I'll maybe give it another few tries, but I'm not sure I'll be continuing to watch that one. Hanebado! No longer interested in playing badminton, Hanesaki Ayano drops the sport regardless of her natural talent and knack for it. On the other hand, driven almost to the point of obsession, Aragaki Nagisa could spend her days practicing badminton, her fixation on winning pushing her deep into a slump. The complimentary turning them into perfect rivals, could they bring to each other what's been missing all along? <laughs> I'm making fun of myself because yeah, I wrote that. I know it sounds a little, <laughs> a little cliche in Cory. I'm sorry I keep doing this with my hair, guys, but I'm like, I'm dying. Okay, 
In part one, I mentioned that I had a hard time getting into competitive sports, anime, the whole genre. And I really struggled to get into Hanebado. From the first episode, I was like, I don't know if I want to watch any more of this, but I pushed myself because ultimately there's nothing bad about it. The art is excellent, the animation is really good. The only thing is that there are a lot of characters right from the start which kind of put me off because they kind of look alike and I could figure out who was who in the end. You just, yeah, you need to introduce them one by one because that was way too much. But yeah, ultimately there was nothing bad, it was just for me, like, I could kind of see where it was gonna go. Another anime, oh, I've stopped playing the sport because I've lost my passion and then I'm gonna find it again and it's gonna be up and down and winning and losing and a lot of backstories and I wasn't ready to watch another one of those, even though how can I receive is kind of the same thing, but I really like the ambiance and it's happy and it's dynamic and it's summery and all the colors. Hanebado is more classical and it's colors and it's kind of gloomy and a bit sad and I really struggle to get into it. This said, I have nothing bad to say about it. It does look like a good anime. I am slowly starting to get into it, but I have to force myself and prepare myself to watch it which I know is not a good thing but I want to like it because it does seem good it does seem like it will be a good one it's just not my cup of tea but I would recommend it if you are a fan of sports anime Shichisei no Subaru, Seven Senses of the Reunion Why did I say it like that? <laughs> In an online role-playing video game, MMORPG, called Union, a group of middle schoolers win quest after quest through their thirst That is so hard to say through their thirst for adventure and victory until they tragically lose a team member both inside the game and in real life. When Haruto Amo looks back into the new version of the game six years later, he is surprised to find his deceased friend inside the platform. Dun dun dun. Okay, another MMORPG. Nothing like the one from part one, like completely different. And I was kind of surprised that I enjoyed the first episode. I. I thought it was intriguing, I thought the story was well uh, prepared and brought up and built. I felt like it had a good base. I like the mystery and the elements of darkness, the hints of darkness that were in there. Even though it is an MMORPG with fantasy and adventure, there was a hint of darkness. But this is about my second impression. It's starting to fall short. It's starting to fall short and I'm so disappointed because I was like, huh. I think I could really enjoy this one. I feel like everything that I liked about it from the first episode has slowly gone away in the following episodes. So it's falling a little flat, it's falling a little dull, it's starting to fall into the stereotypical MMORPG trope thing. So yeah, I'm disappointed and I'm gonna keep watching it a little more, but if it goes on, the way it's been going now, I might have to drop it because it's... Ever since the end of the first episode with that dun 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 mo moment, nothing's really happened. It's not... no, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and last but certainly not least is Hataraku Saibo, Cells at Work. Always busy, always at it, cells inside the human body work hard to keep everything functioning and free from infection. Something newbie red blood cell is quick to discover as she dashes around learning things on the fly, having to rely on bold veteran white blood cell when faced with evil germs. The ins and outs of a well-oiled machine, the story of life from an anime's perspective. Okay, I didn't really know how to describe it at first with this first episode, so this is why it's a little wishy-washy. Cells at work slow clap. It's good. It's really good. It actually reminds me of a cartoon I used to watch when I was a kid which was totally educational but it also spoke of like how the human body worked with, with this little cartoon character. So it's kind of a, a grown-up anime version of that with more fighting and a bit more gore and I re I'm really enjoying it. After the first episode I knew I liked it but I was waiting, like reserving my judgment on it and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's really interesting, it's educational but n also not that much. I don't feel like education is the priority. The story and the character design is definitely first. The art is magnificent, like, the character design is really gorgeous and 
poetic even it's interesting the story comes first and even though each episode is like a new issue like a new virus or a new strain of something that's happening it doesn't get boring because there are so many elements to the human body that there's always something new to introduce something new to intervene so i think the series could last a long time if it continues the way it is doing now it is fully entertaining and i think that visually it's it's pretty incredible, so it's worth the watch. And that is it for the 10 animes from the list I made for FAD. I still want to mention a few that didn't make it to the list before we go. The first one being... I forgot the title again, because it didn't make the list. Hyakure no Hao to Seiyaku no Valkyria says some urban... some urgent... <laughs> Some urban legends are best left untested. Yuto Suo gets more than he bargained for when he joins his childhood friend Mitsuki Shimuya in testing out an urban legend. When he uses his phone to take a picture of himself with a local shrine's divine mirror, he is whisked off uh, into another world, one heavily steeped in the lore of Old Norse myths. Using his knowledge gained from school and from his solar power to smartphone, he has a chance to bring the wolf clan, the same people who cared for him, to prominence, all the while earning the adoration of a group of magic-wielding warrior maidens known as the Enher Jar. However you say that. Okay, this description sounds okay, actually. But if I hadn't read this description, from watching the two episodes of this anime that I've watched so far, I wouldn't understand what the F is going on because either I... the, the, the chronology is really weird, but it, it feels like I've just walked in on like the third episode already and that I missed the whole explanation to why this guy is here and why he has a cell phone and why... I don't understand this series at all, it just starts like this and I, I found it so boring I'm sorry but I found it really boring that I had a hard time finishing the first episode and it took me a while to be like okay let's taste let's test out a second and it's probably because again wrong demographic audience for this series with the women fawning over this high school kid who's like ha oh, ha ha I'm almighty and everything I didn't like it didn't like it at all. I know it's like up there with like the popular animes of summer, but I'm not interested in watching it. I'm not into it at all. I can see the appeal, but it feels it's not for me. And I don't I don't know what else to add. I don't know if I added anything else on this. Let me check. I just wrote that I struggle to find any merit when it comes to this anime so far and I don't think I'll be continuing it. I've already got so many animes to watch already, so sorry, what's your face, Valkyria? Um, I don't get ya and hopefully others will. And finally, the last one that I did not add to the list is called Joshiochi Nikai Kara Ero Musume ga Futekite Ore no... Oh, there's a thing on top. Ore no are ni, whatever that means. Uh, Aikawa Sosuke is a part-time part -time worker who lives in a rundown apartment. One day he hears a creaking sound from a ceiling and suddenly the resident of the apartment above his Unyu Sunao falls through the hole, through a hole that appears in his ceiling onto his bed. Thus starts Sosuke and Sunao's comical life of living together. I kind of disagree with this description. By the way, these last two descriptions I didn't write there. I just got them on anime list or something. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be racy, but it's porn. It's straight up four minutes softcore porn. Hentai. I mean, yes, she falls on his bed. <laughs> she doesn't just fall on his bed. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> and I was like bursting out laughing at how like unexpected for me it was because I was expect like I said I was expecting it to be boobalicious and bouncy and jiggly and a lot of blushing and like squealing and stuff but yeah no this is straight up uh, hentai <laughs> guys so you have been warned um, it's only four minutes long and um, 
why did I choose this one to finish this video on? Because now I'm a little flustered. Um, <laughs> these were my second opinions on my first opinions on 10 promising anime releases of summer 2018. And I hope it made sense for you that I made a second opinion because yeah, first opinions aren't always right, clearly. Um, I will be making a second list of this for FAD, I think should be next month. I still have to write it. I still have a few more animes to watch to determine who will be in my list or not for the second part of the summer releases. So if you have any recommendations for me, don't hesitate to leave them down below. Also down below in the description will be the link to the article for FAD. So be sure to check that out and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. It was fun to make. So I will speak to you very soon and I will worry you all. Bye!